新北市立三民高中一亿零学年度第二学期高二英听科补考试题，听力测验开始。一、看图变异，说明，请仔细观察各图画，并聆听语音播出的试题，根据试题内容选出最符合题意的图画选项。Number one. What can we say about the boy? A. He's musically gifted. B. He's amazed by the breathtaking scenery. C. He's hand feeding an animal. D. He's fascinated by what he sees. Number two. What is true about the people? A. They're having a celebration. B. They're watching a concert. C. They're attending a funeral. D. They're holding a protest. Number three. What do we know about the man? A. He's at a financial institution. B. He's showing cold symptoms. C. He's experiencing an intense pain. D. He's recovering from his leg injury. Number four. What is true about the man? A. He works as a miner. B. He's going fishing in a boat. C. He's wearing diving gear. D. He's competing in a swimming race. Number five. What is true about the man? A. He's driving an electric vehicle. B. He's drinking from a glass bottle. C. He crushed a can with his hand. D. He's handling a toxic chemical. Number six. What is true about the woman? A. She's studying dinosaur fossils. B. She's examining a skeleton. C. She's testing a specimen of rock. D. She's taking care of a patient. Summing. 请仔细观察图画，并聆听试题。从听到的四个选项中，选出最符合图意的两个答案。Number seven. Which two of the following are true about the man? A. He is strolling through a mall. B. He is frightened by what he sees. C. He is staring at a poisonous snake. D. He is completing his assignment. Number eight. Which two of the following are true about the picture? A. The shop has sold almost all the donuts. B. The sweets are tempting to the woman. C. There are many cakes left in the shop. D. The woman has finished eating a snack. Number nine. Which two of the following are true about the man? A. He is a famous explorer. B. He is at a joyful celebration. C. He is making a sand sculpture. D. He is about to finish his creation. Number ten. Which two of the following are true about the picture? A. The woman is scaring the dog. B. The dog is attached to a chain. C. The woman is punishing the dog. D. 
The dog is making a loud noise. Number eleven. Which two of the following are true about the woman? A. She is borrowing books from the library. B. She has plenty of storage for all her books. C. She is building a large piece of furniture. D. She is moving her books from boxes to shelves. Number twelve. Which two of the following are true about the people? A. They're handling toxic products. B. They're working on a production line. C. They're washing greasy dishes. D. They're using disposable tableware. Er, 对答。说明，请听语音播出的一个问句或陈述句后，依试题所列的选项，选出一个最适当的回应选项。Number thirteen. Some people believed kings were divine. Number fourteen. Did you get the emergency alert on your phone? Number fifteen. When was the last time you updated your apps? Number sixteen. The small house has very little storage space. Number seventeen. Police did a thorough search of the neighborhood. Number eighteen. There was a deadly explosion at the factory last night. Three. Short dialogue. Explain. Please listen to the audio recording and answer the related questions. 依试题所列的选项，选出一个最适当的选项。Number nineteen. Do you see that woman over there with braids in her hair? Yeah, I see her. What about her? She's responsible for the creation of my favorite show. Oh, okay. Do you want to go talk to her? Question: What is the man saying about the woman with braids? Number twenty. Thanks for teaching me your secret sauce recipe. No problem. Just don't share it with anyone else. I won't. So what should I do first? Take these herbs and crush them in this bowl. Question: What is the first step in the recipe? Number twenty-one. This area is beautiful. The trees and flowers are so nice. 
I agree. I'd love to build a house here one day. You can't. This natural area is preserved by the government. Well, at least we can visit whenever we want to. Question: Why can't the man build a house in this area? Number twenty-two. I think you should become a singer. Do you really think so? Of course, you are gifted with a great voice. Thanks. Your words mean a lot to me. Question: What does the man tell the woman? Number twenty-three. So, what do you think of this room? Well, the rent is within my budget. Great. Does it mean you'll take it? Maybe, but it's kind of dusty. Can you do something about it? Question: What does the woman say about the room? Number twenty-four. Can I use your cell phone to make a call? Sure, but what's wrong with yours? My battery is dead. Question: What is wrong with the woman's cell phone? Paragraph A. In the ancient world, people associated volcanoes with the activities of their gods. The ancient Romans believed that a volcano near Sicily was the forge of a divine blacksmith. Today, we know that volcanoes come from tectonic plate activity. This allows molten rock trapped deep below the ground to escape through the Earth's crust in some places. It's not known how many volcanoes there are. Many of them are deep in the ocean, and the exact number of these submarine volcanoes is unknown. There are at least one thousand five hundred active volcanoes, and twenty of them are in the process of erupting at any given time. Number twenty-five. What did people in the ancient world do based on the talk? Number twenty-six. Where do volcanoes come from? Number twenty-seven. What is mentioned in the talk about volcanoes? Paragraph B. This past December, an unexpected discovery was made. A dinosaur egg fossil containing an almost perfectly preserved skeleton. The egg was found in China in 2000, but it wasn't until a decade later that its secrets were uncovered. Someone spotted bones showing through a crack in the egg surface. Half of the outer layer was chipped away to expose the specimen inside, and researchers found that the skeleton was curled up in the same way chicken embryos are. Just before they hatch, this was previously thought to be unique to birds. So it suggests that some bird traits may have first appeared in dinosaurs. Number twenty-eight. What is the talk mainly about?
Number twenty nine. What was discovered in China? Number thirty. What did the discovery show scientists? This is the end of the English listening test.